Okay guys, we're getting back on this shaft. I'm gonna start finishing it out. And we're using a CNMG 432 insert right there. That's one of my IS cars. This does excellent. It's my go-to. I've already made one pass across there, 100,000. So it's got a beautiful finish. So we're gonna go ahead and get these diameters turned. I'm gonna come in here with a radius tool and there'll be radiuses on where all the corners are. I'm gonna use my depth mic to uh, get the shoulder distances accordingly, like it needs to be, and just gonna get it finished out. Now, I don't plan on filming the, the whole thing. I need to get going on this and try to get this done and get it out of the machine. I got a lot of work to do, but I'm gonna give you some highlights along the way and kind of showing you you know, what I'm, what I'm doing here. So I've got my sample shaft down there mic and uh, measured out and i've got all my dimensions written down on the journal shoulder distance and diameters and double checked everything so i can look at that now and know what i need to turn this to so i'll show you a typical cut i had left that journal a quarter inch big so we're going to take a hundred thousandths Add just a pretty little chip. So there's the radius tool that we're going to use. That's a quarter inch wide tool, so that'll put a one eighth radius in the corners, and that matches what's on the old shaft there. So we've already got it touched off to the shoulder. I got a zero set on a dial over here, and I'm going to use my depth gauge. So 2.345, 50, 60, 70, 80, that's 40 minus five. So I got 35 thousandths to come off this shoulder. First thing I'm gonna do is just, uh, we're just gonna clean it up. I'm gonna get rid of that material there. I'm just gonna blend that journal in. Just like so. Okay. And I took five thousand. I took five off that shoulder. I'm gonna do this again. I'm sorry that my hands are blocking. I'm trying to get in here and work, but all right. So it showed a total of six thousandths that I took right there. Okay, I moved in the proper distance that I needed. I'm just hand feeding this in. This is going to be our shoulder length, radius, everything's going to be blended at one time right here. It's undercut just a little bit under that shoulder and that's exactly how the other shaft is there too. So I'm just going to come up and I'm going to do the same thing with that next, next shoulder there.
All right, we got one end finished. These three, these three journals are done. So it's time to flip it around and start finishing out this side, doing the same thing. Finish the journal sizes and then come in and finish the radiuses. We got an eighth of an inch run out using the copper soft jaw so we don't mar anything up. Half a thou. Hmm. Alright, that needle's dan dancing around less than a half a thou right there. We're good to go. This is what a typical finishing pass is looking like. Now that's a 40 thousandths depth of cut or 20 thousandths per side using the 432 insert. Leaving a good finish on it. I got all these journals finished right here. I want to go ahead and put our radius here and here. So that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you some of that. I do not have this finished, but this journal here, I went ahead and skinned it like 10 thousandths uh, so that it was perfectly true with this to hold the steady rest because this large tool, anytime you're trying to do radiuses, you, it's prone to chatter and that will chatter going in there and trying to do that uh, without some kind of steady rest. So let's get it cut. That'd be a quarter inch radius uh, using a half inch round tool there. I've already got my shoulder links uh, faced in where they need to be. Uh, maybe about five thousandths you can use to clean them up. Already, already trying to chatter a little bit. I'm snugging up the top steady rest arm. All right, let me slow her down. So what I'm doing is I'm working both sides of it, trying to get the most of it cut away. What I'll do is I'll slow the RPMs down to try to finish that out.
All right, there we go. That one turned out real good. This one I'm gonna have to come back and revisit. I was getting a little bit of chatter there. I'm gonna have to move the steady rest down here further, closer to that. But that looks pretty good. We blended both of them really well. Alrighty guys, I've got the shaft finished. All the lathe work, all the lathe work is done. I really wish I could have showed you some more, man. I was just, I was kind of under the gun to get this thing done and get out of the lathe. I've got jobs waiting to get into this lathe. So uh, instead of focusing on the camera, I had to focus on work and get this done. But it all turned out pretty good. I was gonna point out the last op that you seen me working on was these two radiuses here. And we got those blended out real well. You can see right here, I take some emery like this and I just roll it up, kind of like a cartridge roll. I just don't have any cartridge rolls for my air grinder here. And I'll, I'll roll it up kind of tight and I'll lay it in that corner uh, with it spinning and just blend it out of there and do a couple different grits. There's 120, this was 50 grit and then uh, 120 and then hit some, use some Scotch Bright. But we got radiuses in every corner. This would be 1 16th radius is there. I'm sorry, 1 8th radius is that's a 1 16th radius. And then quarter inch radius is there. Uh, this is, uh, I believe I used the 1 8th radius on that one. All right, but it looks good. Here, we'll spin it up. You can see it running. get it out of here splash some oil on it so it don't flash rust on us and move on to the next job I got some other stuff I got to get done so we'll come down here to the old shaft and show you I got we got a keyway here we got a keyway here and we got some tap holes there so that's the that's the mill work that we got to do Here's the shaft finished up. We've got the both of the keyways milled. That's a 32 millimeter key there. This is 120 millimeters on the end. And then I just finished up this keyway here. That's a inch and a half by three quarter deep keyway. And we made good use of the shop made A blocks there. I just didn't get a chance to get a lot of video of this. Just it's been too busy to uh, mess with the camera. But I wanted to share it with you. The finished product here. <laughs> 